time. 53. One, two, one, two, three, four. If you really want to make your presence felt as a frontline musician, there's one family of instruments just for you the brass section. Brass instruments are the powerhouse of the band. Here it's the tenor trombone and its bigger brother, the bass trombone, providing the excitement in the Kent Youth Jazz Orchestra, along with the trumpet section. As a brass player, you'll be as welcome in classical music as in rock music. They're versatile instruments and pretty simple. Our guide to the brass is Steve Migdon. If any brass player that you meet can do this for you, And if we place a mouthpiece on that vibrating air column, we get a different sound. It sounds almost like a brass instrument. So it begins to sound a bit like a brass instrument. Now, I wanted to show you how simple brass instruments are because they look very complicated. But in actual fact, all they are is a length of tubing. And what I have to do is to go to an extra length of tubing. And this will give us hopefully lower notes, so the longer a brass instrument, the lower it'll go. And more notes as well. And that's basically how brass instruments work. What I like about brass instruments, they can be really loud, really loud. And the peculiar thing about brass instruments is they can also play incredibly soft. How's that? It's great, Steve, but what do those buttons do? Okay, so when you press down the second valve, all that does is it deflects the airstream into this little additional piece of tubing here. And that makes the instrument longer, which in turn makes the instrument play lower. Little kids can learn it, adults can learn it, great instrument. I bet you wonder what kind of an instrument fits on the end of this. Big mouthpiece must be a big instrument. You're right, it's the trombone. Known as the king of the instruments to some, it's a very simple instrument. It's just a length of tubing curled around, no valves. So how does it work? Easy. The instrument becomes gradually longer through means of the slide here. As I push it down, obviously things get longer and things will get lower too. So let's have a blow and see what it sounds like. Reminiscent of the bombing raid over Dresden, hey? And if I alternate the slide positions and stop at certain places, I can acquire different notes like a B-flat major scale. As you can tell, the trombone's real easy, so there's no need to go any further than this trombone. Pretty good, huh? First take. I'll tell you why I'm so impressed with myself. This is the French horn, and it's a devil. It doesn't really matter what you do with these up here. You can play any note you like with or without them, particularly if you get up high. I'm sometimes asked, why are you, what are you doing with your hand there? Well, it's a private thing, but I'll let you in on it. I insert it inside here to make the color of the horn blend more with the other orchestral members. If I take it out, it gets awful rough.
good for hunting, but Royal Festival Hall doesn't work too well. Put the hand in. That's why horn players put their hand inside. Not to keep it warm, but to keep it respectable. do you do with a hundred weight of silver but turn it into a tuba here it is the baby of the family well baby because it's the newest born about 1830 but there's no doubt it's the heaviest it's the longest too so you probably think I can play low notes right we'll find out well there's a few Thing is, you blow one note, you're out of breath. Or I am anyway. Well, there's a selection of brass instruments to choose from. Our musical novices, Joan and Anne, had never been near a brass instrument before. They learnt the raspberries, they tried the mouthpieces, they were finally let loose on the horns. It's like you got an orange in your hand, you know, like that. Okay? Now put the mouthpiece up where it was and do that buzz into it. Now, don't press any vowels down yet. That's it, try again. Yeah, yeah, don't get carried away, you're not that good yet. <laughs> but it may not take long. What about the trombone then? Well, Joan found it comfortable to hold, and as a jazz fan, very nice to be with. But would it work? That's it, you've got the blow raspberry in there. There we are, take a really deep breath. That's how it sounds and feels when you start playing the brass. In a week or two, it's jingle bells, and after that, who knows? One of my students was 72 years old, so he came in, and within a year, he studied the trombone. He was out playing the local brass band, so it's never too late to start learning. That guy is a star. What a teacher to have. What a sense of humor. What a dry wit. And for the book that goes with the series, just send...